Welcome to the new The Settler 7 close-up. Today, we will be dealing with individualization in the game, and we will talk a little bit about the social networking features. But first, let's talk about the points Map Forge and Castle Forge, which bring lots of replay value to the game. What exactly do these two key words mean? Map Forge is one of the great new features in uh, Settler 7. We think it's going to have a lot of impact on the, the, the satisfaction people get from playing because the game will never be the same. It can never be the same in separate playings. We have the maps generated by our content designers originally, but you can adjust the style and play of the game. You can take the victory points and change it for more or less, more, more or less victory points. You can turn it into a King of the uh, Hill game. You can adjust the resources. You can adjust the uh, event locations. There's a lot of customization that you can do to a map and, and play it many times over again. The same basic map, but make it different every time. And we think that that's going to be a great feature. Uh, the second new feature is uh, uh, the Castle Forge, which is sort of like an online avatar that you carry with you from game to game. You can put on the web and let people see what your castle looks like. So every time you complete a game su successfully, you get to change your castle. You start with a very basic empty castle and you get to modify it and make it look to suit your personality, your style. Is it flashy? Is it more mean looking or is it sweet looking? Whatever. You can have your own style. And that, mat, that castle goes with you from game to game as you play. So people may get to recognize your castle. It's, uh, it's just a way to sort of personalize your experience playing Settler 7. So you see, the new The Settler 7 brings lots of opportunities to customize the gaming experience. And with that, make playing the game even more fun. Another interesting feature is social networking. Here, the player has the opportunity to communicate with their friends or with other players. What should we expect exactly when the game is over? Uh, social network features are driven by the play of the game. That can be something the, the player does himself, like set a new record for the single player campaign. When that happens, it'll be broadcast out to his friends. Uh, uh, social networking features are also driven by the community, the global community around the world. So uh, if the, the the leaderboard changes, there's a new king in Tandria, that would be broadcast all as, out as well. Uh, the idea here is that the community is driving the, the social networking panel. The play of the game is going to be reporting the information, sending it out to the community. So that's the end of this installment of the Settler 7 close-up. But no need to fret, because that means the game's release is coming closer and closer. Soon, you will be able to start a new chapter in the series with The Settler 7 for your PC.